Hello friends, this video on food production enhancement part 13 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So now let us talk about the third technique of improvement of food production and that is single cell protein. So we already saw that how plants production, plants food production can be increased, how animals food production can be increased. Now we will see how food production from single cells can be increased. So what is single cell protein or SCP? Well, it is a source of protein extracted from culture of microbes. So even microorganisms like bacteria, yeast, fungi, algae, even these are also used as a source of food. And now people have started accepting it as a source of food very easily. For example, you would have seen most of the human beings now eat mushroom and it is one of the good delicacies now. So in a similar way, there are many other microorganisms which can provide a lot of proteins because they have it. And also there are many advantages or the productivity or yield of microbes is also very high when compared to other plants or animals. So that means microbes can also act as a source of food. And this is known as single cell protein. Protein because they are rich source of protein. Single cell because these are all microorganisms. In fact, bacteria, they are single celled organisms. So now some of the examples of uh, single cell proteins would be some of the examples of the microbes would be which are eatable are spirulina chlorella spirulina chlorella what are these the both of these are algae again aspergillus so aspergillus is a fungi polyporus is again a fungi so all these fungi are also edible saccharomyces cerevisiae so this is a uh, yeast this is the yeast and this this is the one which helps in the curdling of milk and we all consume curd so directly or indirectly all these microbes act as a source of food so now we will see how single cell protein helps. I mean, how this technique it has, is advantageous over plant and animal sources of food. So let us look at the advantages. Higher rate of multiplication in microbes. Therefore, they give higher yield. So higher rate of multiplication. Now we all know that microbes multiply very fast. For example, bacteria. Within a few seconds, the bacteria can continuously multiply and give rise to a lot of new bacteria. So that means the number of microbes in, will increase more within the same time frame when compared to plants or animals. So if you try to compare it with say an, an animal or a plant so you will see that a particular say animal for example if you take the example of a cow so if a cow produces around 200 grams of proteins per day so in the same time that means in one day 250 grams of microorganism can actually produce 25 tons of protein. So just imagine the difference. So the cow is able to produce 200 grams of protein and the microorganism is able to produce 25 tons of protein. So they, there is no comparison as far as the yield is concerned. The microorganisms are going to give a uh, definitely higher yield as compared to the animals and also in case of animals let us suppose if you want milk from a cow so the cow also needs to be feed feeded or with a lot of other things maybe either plants or fodder or whatever so that also needs to be supplied only then you get the output from the animal but in this case growing them is also very simple so even waste products can be utilized. Now these microbes grow very easily on waste products like waste water or straw or molasses or sewage. So it can easily grow on those waste products. So there are two, these are two advantages. Now since it is utilizing the waste products, so that means it will reduce the pollution because those waste products would have created pollution in that atmosphere so it is reducing the environmental pollution so that is one advantage the other is advantage is that even though it is growing on waste products it is still when it grows it still comes out to be an something which it comes out to be a food which is rich in nutrients in fact whose nutrient capacity is much more than that of animals Production occurs in continuous culture, so it can be continuously produced in the cultures and as a result, you continuously keep on getting more and more microbes. Independent of climatic variations, so changes in climate doesn't affect the production of the microbes, so the, their quality will remain consistent. 
reduces environmental pollution as I said since the waste products are utilized so therefore definitely the environmental pollution will be reduced. Genetic modification is easier now in this case like as you saw mutations so in mutations what do we do we make some changes in the genetic makeup so here that can be done even more easily that's because what we need to do is just change the amino acid composition so that genetic modification is all the more easier in case of SCP so these are some of the advantages of SCP and that is why SCP is um, a very demanding technique at present not only because of all these advantages but also because uh, now people are not only dependent on plants and animals but microbes have become another source of food for people. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for an easy four step learning process absolutely free of cost. Watch video lessons, ask questions, refer notes and take an online test. Thank you once again.